Will you give attention? We're about to go into the second phase of our great, great night. The cast band is about to come. Back. One, two, three, hey! Before the cast band, my life still consisted of music. Uh, like I would pick albums from my favorite artists and I would learn each album from beginning to end, each separate instrument and um, every single part in full detail. Tonight we're trying out something different. We have a story to tell you. I came to the US uh, before starting the sixth grade and had a really rough time learning a new language and just fitting in. And I had a struggle with connecting with people because of the language barrier. So. Um, I found shelter in music. I was not very good at it at all. Um, my sixth grade history teacher, he had a guitar. Like, that's a language I can understand. So I, with my broken English, I asked him, can I play your guitar? And he's like, you know what? I want you to play it in front of the class. And um, to me, that was like the biggest challenge ever. But I took it without even questioning it. It was rough. <laughs> Kids were really mean. Uh, I would work really hard to make sure I sounded as American as I could be. Um, after that, I committed myself to just not speaking to people unless I felt really sure that the words I was going to use uh, sounded uh, good. <laughs> it was in the middle of this song that I learned about production and how important, like, there's a subconscious um, part on your production choices, like using a, a kick that's more like, and using a kick that's like, ka, ka. Where are you gonna go? Salvation is The cast band is what the cast band is because of these guys. And I mean, sometimes it is easier to write songs on your own. But I find it more beautiful when three minds come together and, and come up with something great together. why I am doing music with the two people I call my brothers. I'm inspired by these guys constantly. We throw ideas at each other, how we can carry out the project in a more meaningful way. So the direction that the, the project has been taking, it just, it teaches me, it reminds me, um, it humbles me, lets me know that I cannot do this on my own. Actually, I would go to bed every night imagining myself playing with a band and that would always it would always be my group of closest friends so I'd place them in specific instruments. They both are better people than I am. I humbly admit that. This is my death and the funny thing is that life at home was even harder than life outside of it. Life at home was very scarring. I suffered verbal and physical abuse. My parents were the best that they ever could be with what they were given. Um, one of them happened to have unresolved issues that affected me in ways that I still have not fixed to this day. Uh, I thought that it was just part of being a kid to have your parent uh, strangle you out of anger, leaving bloody marks on your neck because you could not find the right bed sheets in the closet. I thought that I, I just had to wait it out until I was older to not get hurt like that. I became very driven because of those experiences. So anger became an issue for me after all the abuse that I had experienced. I, I would not say that do, that anger dominates my life. However, I do believe that insecurity um, affects my life more than it should. I would love to say that I have everything figured out, but come on, that's just unrealistic. <laughs> and you think, at this moment, you think that life leaves you at a moment of tension. You know, just that. No resolution right there. 
I want to tell you that you get to start again. You get to defeat that tension. Can I get an amen? That faith is what drives my whole existence. Uh, the reason I found shelter in music is because the music that I listened to reflected God's loving and graceful nature. We're drawn to find purpose and meaning, and uh, I wanted to find that. I wanted to find the truth. The great, perhaps, is uh, that. The chaos, the unknown. And uh, I find it exciting, sometimes scary. I think it's the, I think the great, perhaps, is the hand of God, in a way. I got my perspective in life and I hold on to it. I hold on to what's divine. I hold on to what's higher. Higher than my fears. Higher than my humanity. Life before the Caspian was very defining.